I'm Kevin Shaw, and you're watching the Watercraft Journal. Let's just get right to it. Personal watercraft sales are the highest they've been since 2007. Just this last year, the total number of new vehicle sales excelled past 87,000 units. That's literally double the total sales of a decade earlier. To meet this new wave of newfound demand, Yamaha Motor Corporation USA is rolling out an unprecedented 11 new wave runners for 2021 making this the single largest new product launch in the brand's 35 years of personal watercraft production. Additionally, this last year marked the first time in decades that the percentage of first-time buyer sales, 52%, eclipsed return buyers at 48%. Yamaha's watercraft group general manager Brian Setti explained, coming off of a record sales year that saw us sell out of most models, these new products elevate our line even further. This is proving to be a very special year for Yamaha Watercraft, and we think our customers will find these new products to exceed their expectations of what they can do on the water. Particular focus was placed on Yamaha's most popular segment, the VX series, by including a swath of top tier features and accessory options previously unavailable on models other than the higher end FX series runabouts as well as some design features learned from the Rec Light EX series. This manifested as a redesigned deck, which shares many of the aforementioned FX attributes, deeper, wider, self-draining footwells, a wider rear swim platform, and even a reshaped seat that radically improves rider comfort and ergonomics. The reshaped saddle is one and a half inches narrower and slightly tapered at the knees allowing the driver better lower body grip and cornering and comfort while cruising. To accomplish this, the redesigned VX uses a black plastic secondary deck panel, similar to those first used on the EX Wave Runners, that allows for greater engine access when removed. Passengers are also entreated with a re-sculpted rear seat and handrail. Drivers now enjoy the industry's first full-color LCD helm control as well. The 4.3-inch screen operates Yamaha's Kinect software, displaying fuel mileage and consumption rates, a pin security code, and even pre-setting a maximum speed, all controlled by a touchpad located beneath the steering on the right-hand side. For those VX models equipped with either the 1049cc TR13 cylinder four-stroke or the TR1 high output, horsepower production is set to 100 and 110 respectively. For those two VX models equipped with the naturally aspirated 180 horsepower 1812 cc high output marine engine, specifically the world's best selling PwC three years running, the VX Cruiser HO, or the new for 2021 VX Limited HO, Kinext can also adjust acceleration speeds from normal to slow. With the deck's redesign also comes an all new glove box. Not only is it the largest glove box ever offered on the VX series, it's also watertight and lit with blue LED lighting coming from a USB and a 12 volt power outlet as standard equipment, except for of course the base model VX and VXC. Base storage is also up with a wider bow compartment for easier access, a more durable high strength hinge and dampener, and a snap top water resistant box found beneath the rear seat. Further features on the redesigned VX series include the addition of the multi-mount accessory system. Simply screw in a RAM ball mount and you can attach any number of items, like a GPS or an action camera. Yet, one unique option for the VX series, except for the base model VX and VXC, is the availability of a factory installed marine audio system. Comprised of twin 4.5 inch waterproof marine speakers, an integrated 2 channel 50 watt per channel amplifier, and a low voltage regulator to protect the battery, all of which is operated by an easy to access control pad found below the handlebars on the left hand side. Now if you're looking to have it all, the new VX Limited HO comes with the factory installed integrated speaker system as well as the rest of the now famous Limited package, 
including a single rider tube, tube inflator, tube holder, tow rope, tow rope bag, custom cover with glove box access, and two fenders. Of course, if you're wanting all of that without the extra 70 horsepower, the TR1 powered VX Limited Wave Runner returns for 2021 as well. To those unacquainted, the VX models share the same hull and deck molds as the Performance Bread GP series, meaning that the two series share similar handling and cornering characteristics. The differences between the two are in their material construction. The base model VXC and VX are cast in traditional SMC fiberglass, as the remainder of the VX series are molded in Yamaha's proprietary Nano XL clay, which provides a thinner yet equally durable molecular bond, which dramatically shaves weight. For the race-ready GP1800R SVHO and HO models, Yamaha employs its Nano XL2 material, shaving off an impressive 18% more weight from its Nano XL predecessor. Nano XL2 is also 100% repairable without the use of special tools or materials and results in an automotive grade class A smooth high quality paintable surface. This lends itself to Yamaha's excellent power to weight ratio and is directly attributable to the GP1800R being the weapon of choice for more racers and professional athletes than any other personal watercraft runabout today. For 2021, Yamaha's engineers have remastered its almost superhuman GP1800R by improving on its weight distribution, acceleration, and cornering. Beginning with the redesigned deck, Yamaha's GP series wave runners benefit greatly from improved ergonomics. A narrow racy seat profile and deeper wider self-draining footwells add toward superior rider posture and knee placement. Add to that an all-new pistol grip mounted tilt adjustable handlebars and racers and performance enthusiasts alike are gonna flip. More impressive is the introduction of launch control and the industry's first auto trim system, exclusive to the GPs. Known as cornering control, the auto trim feature operates separately from the electronic trim system on the handlebars. It automatically trims the bow down when decelerating for a tight corner and trims back up to plane when accelerating out of the apex. Similarly, launch control toggles the trim down and gradually rises back up to the preset when accelerating quickly from a stop or idle speed. The GP1800 for 2021 utilizes the same basic hull shape as the previous GP, which is a proven on the track winner, multi-time world championship hull. What's different about it this year though is the intake grate and the pump design has changed a little bit. The intake grate has been opened up for to allow more water to enter the pump during acceleration for less cavitation and a quicker off the off the starting line. And the pump now has been redesigned to be a, a 160 millimeter through and through. So overall, we just kind of opened up the pump. We've allowed it to breathe a little bit more and it really improves the acceleration dramatically. Another thing that we've done on the GP1800 this year is we've taken the, the gas tank, which is 18 and a half gallons and when full, it's pretty heavy. We've moved it back 80 millimeters along with 15 millimeters lower. So it lowers the center of gravity and moving that CG back really allows the, the GP to just kind of sit back on, on a little bit further back and it brings the pivot point of turning back so it has a much more maneuverable, more comfortable feel and uh, just overall it's been a, a big improvement to the GP handling over and performance. No, literally, guys, the difference between the 2021 and the previous GPs is night and day. Top speed hasn't changed, but getting there is a whole different experience. Out of the whole acceleration, mid-range pull into the boost, and continual hookup has made the 2021 GP1800R a whole new machine. Above the bond line, the new GPs enjoy the same 15% increase in overall storage, with a bigger glove box, multi-mount accessory system, and the full color connects helm control with the control pad below the handlebars on the right as well as the other VX models. Equally, both the SVHO and HO can be set to limit the top speed and acceleration curve from normal to slow. Lastly, the GPs can also be ordered with the factory installed custom integrated marine audio system as well. Some of the new functions that Connext offers to the new GP is of course it's a 4.3 LCD screen and you have a touchpad control here that allows you to go through each of the screen settings. 
Another really nice addition to the GP is being able to have the trip info, which includes miles per gallon, trip hours, um, and uh, gallons used. So uh, really good feature if you're on long cruises. Home screen offers you, you can see trim, of course, and you can see fuel flow and fuel level, um, RPM and miles per hour. And then if you go into drive control, um, you can see that you can set either acceleration and speed and you can set at a high, medium, or low for speed, or you can set the acceleration at normal or slow. And this is good if you have beginners or, or younger people that you want to try to uh, to give an experience without full full throttle right away. So, um, also, it's kind of nice as a new feature is you can engine lock without having to use a key fob, which we've had in the past. So, um, no more external key fob that you can lose. Um, so everything is right here at your fingertips, uh, as well as a one button start stop switch, which is also new for the GP this year, um, and TDE and uh, electronic trim. TDE is our thrust directional enhancer. Actually, it's more of a low speed handling, really nice function. If you're in neutral, you can do a, a one mile an hour forward or one mile an hour reverse speed. Really nice, way more comfortable around docking or other boats. Um, and uh, that's about it for the Connect system. Um, it's a fully, fully integrated system, and the GP 1800R for 2021 is now a very full-featured, high-performance watercraft. Minor changes to the EX series come in 2021 in the form of a new fully optioned EX Limited. The Limited comes with a king's ransom of accessories, including two waterproof wireless Echo X Gear Bluetooth speakers a single rider tube, tube inflator, tube holder, tow rope, tow rope bag, fixed bow mounted dry storage, a 12 volt outlet, custom cover with glove box access, and two fenders. Additionally, only the EX Limited employs new redesigned sponsons for increased dynamic stability. The remainder of the EX series including the EX, EX Sport, and EX Deluxe return, as well as the funnest PwC in Yamaha's roster, at least in our view, the 110 horsepower EXR. All other EX models, including the EX Limited, are equipped with the standard 1049cc TR1, producing 100 horsepower. Likewise, all EX models are made using traditional fiberglass, while the EXR shaves off 70 pounds by using Yamaha's featherweight Nano Excel 2 material mentioned earlier. And in what might be the industry's most anticipated reveal, is the introduction of the 2021 TR1 powered Superjet. Rolling out 30 years since the first 650cc Superjet, the 2021 four stroke was designed specifically to retain the exhilarating experience of riding a lightweight, nimble stand up while being 50 state legal and not requiring a racing license to purchase. Yamaha's new Superjet is 142 pounds lighter and 8.8 .8 inches shorter than its competition. This also means that the new Superjet is 69 pounds heavier, 7.5 inches longer, 3.2 inches wider, and 5.1 inches taller than the outgoing two-stroke Superjet just for comparison's sake. Powered by the same 100 horsepower TR1 engine propelling most of the EX series and many of the VX runabouts, the new Superjet enjoys immediate throttle response, plenty of torque, and even a new L mode that detunes the TR1 to 80% of its acceleration curve, dropping the top speed to 40 miles per hour, ideal for beginner riders. Otherwise, more daring riders can push the Superjet to a blistering sustained top speed of 54 miles per hour. Wanting to give the Superjet the widest access to a variety of riders, some cool features were added. First, a three position adjustable handle pull, capable of extending 50 millimeters or two inches in length and a race-inspired handlebar that comes standard. Second, Yamaha carried its adjustable steering cable system that can be set to either six or nine degrees to increase the ski's turn angle. With a wide padded foot tray featuring a small relief in the center, what Yamaha calls an integrated reboarding holder, and a five gallon fuel cell, the Superjet promises hours of fun on the water. Lastly, the hull was designed for greater static and dynamic stability. The new Superjet commits to deliver on the promise of a truly physically challenging athletic riding experience while being fuel efficient and environmentally superior to its predecessor. 
With that, 11 new Yamaha machines are being introduced this model year, and dealerships can't wait to uncrate them. But be warned, demand hasn't let up and deposits on all these new wave runners have already been accepted. So next year might be a race to grab a new Yamaha before they sell out again. You better act quick, bud. These are gonna disappear fast. I'm Kevin Shaw and thanks for watching the Watercraft Journal. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a like, share it with your friends, and definitely subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any future videos. Until then, make sure to check us out at www.watercraftjournal.com where new articles are published every day, Monday through Friday, entirely free to you.